Hey guys, Nick60 here coming to you with a uh, look at the AMX 1375. This is the tier 7 light tank for the French line. Holy crap. This thing is such an improvement over the AMX 12T. Um, if if I understand things right, the top gun for both of these is, yep, the same gun. But, yeah, there is. I could have just looked down, but holy crap, there is such a difference between the 12T and the 1375. Um, the 1375 is the first tank in the French line that I felt play, played like the French tanks you always hear about that run around and use their autoloaders to ruin your day and then run away before you can ever respond. And there's the argument, well, come on, the 12T has an autoloader. Yeah, but the 12T just feels sluggish. And this might be the same gun, but it's the same gun a tier higher. So, let's cover the actual stats then get to the video 900 health points not bad it's a light tank you're not running on those anyways um, I do not have the top engine yet actually which if I'm geeking out about this using a tier 6 engine <laughs> I can't wait till I get the top engine top speed 61 kph e even even without the top engine it's it's plenty fast. 40 traverse speed, 46 turret traverse, it can turn and get that gun where it's pointed. Um, very poor elevation and depression. Not quite sure what they are, but it the whole turret needs to point up and down. It doesn't go very far. Armor, uh, we really don't care because it the armor is tissue paper. Uh, standard shell damage with the uh, AP for this it tops out around 180 pens up to 169 um rate of fire about one shot every two seconds then a 15 second reload 400 meter view range 400 meter signal range yes i have 100 percent crew vents track so that i don't get stopped camo because this thing hides in bushes six cents mentor snapshot off-road driving and clutch braking. This thing is all about moving and or hiding. Now, like I said, that's the same gun as the 12T. So what on earth, you know, why do I care? Well, first of all, as I said, this thing's faster. Second of all, it's a tier higher. So it has a, so it has a slightly faster rate of fire in between shots. I think my 12T ended with 2.22 and this is more or less a flat 2 eh. <laughs> and shaved a little over 3 seconds off of the actual magazine reload which you know still doesn't seem all that great because 15 seconds reload on a light tank really but between those missing couple of seconds and that extra and that extra uh basically 20 kph on speed it is a whole different ball game with this thing yes it can be dropped into tier 10 matches but in my first tier 10 match which also was my first match i was actually able to use this thing to get behind uh an enemy t m103 and chip off health for the kill Yes, he had already taken damage, but the point was, holy crap, I managed to get behind and kill him before he had a chance to react to my presence. I never would have been able to do that in the 12T. It just is too sluggish to be able to respond to that stuff. So, yeah, I am loving <laughs> the 1375. I don't care if I see almost nothing but tier 10 matches in this thing. It's its performance overall is like I said it doesn't seem like you know a vi a very slight soft step boost to the uh, to the gun would make a huge difference but add that with its better speed 
even with the tier 6 engine and holy crap this thing's amazing and rather than just sit here and keep talking about it let's actually look at the replay as proof here we go Siegfried line assault on the defending side tier 8 match um, the, the only tier 8 match I've been in so far <laughs> to be honest um yeah <laughs> let's just uh, see what happens shall we game seems to have decided it there we go waiting for that 15 second reload to get the first round in the pipe coming around here just try to spot um, maybe my first tier 8 game in this this tank but I'm still I'm still thinking I'm just gonna continue to do the scout thing don't not really do much damage myself yeah that plan didn't last long you'll note that we're not getting all that much uh, support over here just got spotted and quickly run away before that M44 can put shots into me. Even when, even when rolling around in uh, light tanks, I have a nasty te tendency to suffer from sky cancer, so I'd rather not have to deal with that. Rest of the team maneuvering for uh, combat, and I just decide I'm going to sit back here and see what happens. VK3002D starts moving forward. We've lost our ELC, who is the only forward guy here. And now we just lost everything for the most part. And at this point, I decide I don't like the ELC anymore. <laughs> that gets me spotted though. And I'm sitting here trying to decide if I want to move or if or if they, I want to see if they noticed me or not. Tank destroyers are moving back. I'm still camped in a bush. I'll admit I didn't start off this match uh, at my greatest. Decided to move forward. I want to know where that VK is. Accidentally hit a tree. VK completely failed to notice me until it was too late. Just, uh... Not be where his gun can hit. <laughs> and just like that, two kills. To be honest, I really wasn't paying attention at the time. I was just kind of trying to do my job. I mean... That long space I spent in the trees tells you I really was kind of iffy at the beginning. Decided to move forward, spot for what's left of our tank destroyers over there. Keep an eye out for anything. There's that panther. It actually took me a sec. I could see him on the map, but it actually took me a sec to realize where he was exactly in relation to me. And just like that, no more Panther. And I hit reload. Like I said, I don't know what it is, but the 15 second reload on this, in this tank, just doesn't seem as bad. I mean, even with that Jackson bearing down on me, I'm not quite feeling the pinch like I do in a 12T. Put one shot into him, do nothing. Auto aim trying to get around in where I can do something without having to worry about him and yeah all of a sudden I am once again nice and safe ta-da four kills Jackson dealt with I want the artillery I'm a light tank I snuck past the enemy line I want the artillery in the base campers basically And I do this in all my light tanks when this kind of stuff happens. Oh, HCAT. 
put a shot in, put another shot in, put another shot in, put another shot in. Then I finally use the repair kit. Itch cat entertains me. There's the artillery. One more shot in. Have one shot in the pipe. I don't think there's anything else up here. H cat decides to throw a hissy fit. <laughs> Took me a sec to even realize he was talking about me. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to the fact that I have six kills right now. <laughs> All I'm thinking is, oh geez, there is an SU-152. I wonder if I can put shots into him. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just having fun annoying the age cat right now. And then we're just going to uh, frustrate this guy. Age cat continues to rage. I continue to laugh. Oh, so close. And that's game, set, and match. 32% chance to win. 32% chance to win. And we cleaned up <laughs> in, in about five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at the results screen. There you go, folks. <laughs> Without it being fully upgraded, because I forgot to drop in the top, uh, the top uh, radio as well. I forgot to mention that we have Ace Tanker, fire for effect, cause more damage to enemy vehicles than the hit points on your vehicle. I think we have that covered. Sharpshooter hit t enemy vehicles with ten or more consecutive shots. Master Gunner, score at least five armor penetrating hits in a row against enemy vehicles. I think we're covered there too. Duelist, destroy at least two enemy vehicles that cause damage to your vehicle in the battle. Bruiser, damage enemy vehicles modules or injure crew members at least five times in a battle. High Caliber, cause the highest damage per battle, which must be at least 20% of the total HP of enemy vehicles. Must be at least a thousand HP, which is a lot easier at this tier. Cannot hit any allies by direct shots. And must be obtained in random battles, which is all I ever play. Top Gun. Destroy at least six enemy vehicles. <laughs> Holy crap. Six kills, 26 penetrating hits. Uh, didn't get the SU-152. Still sad about that. Six module damages, two on the SU. Two assistant kills, four spots. 51,637 credits and 4,052 experience. I think that's the most experience I've ever earned in a single battle. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure what that, <laughs> that that is. Look at that. Assisted with 205 damage, but did 3,251 hit with every shot. This is like, I never do this kind of performance. And again, 32% chance to win! <laughs> Come on! Look at that. The next person up is the enemy IS with almost 3,000 damage. Only the AMX M445 did better than me. I'm actually I think that, can only one of these be awarded per match? I could, uh, apparently not. Uh, he's the only guy that did more kills than me, but I most definitely did the most damage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I just, I, I still can't believe that there's only three of us on the team that actually got kills. I mean, at least everyone managed to do some damage. And, you know, I'm not trying to hate on these guys. Um... These two, <laughs> these two, I'm tempted to make fun of, but I won't. Um, the, H the H cat, I will make fun of. This guy, 
I will make fun of him. <laughs> because, because I can. So yeah, 27 shots, 26 penetrations. All damage at close quarters combat. On, only took three hits of those. Two of them actually did damage. Thank goodness. Because <laughs> this thing cannot take a hit as you saw. There's the spots, damage destroyed, assistance, travel just over two clicks. Well, almost three clicks, actually. Only five minute battle. I just... I can't understand this performance. This isn't my performance. <laughs> I don't do this. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yeah, I... I'm going to love the 1375. And all accounts say each tank after that's even better. <laughs> I am looking forward to the rest of the French line. I really, really am. Yep, this has been a look at an absolutely absurd <laughs> game. I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this and want to see more, please check out my channel. If you want to help support the channel, links in the description. This is Nick60 signing off. I will see you guys later.